We want to take you to Capitol Hill now, where moments ago, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer spoke on the House or on the floor about the House approved debt deal. Let's listen. American families and eliminate the threat of a first ever default. The bill is now in the Senate, where we begin the process today of passing this legislation as soon as possible. The Senate will stay in session until we send a bill avoiding default to President Biden's desk. We will keep working until the job is done. <coughs> Time. <coughs> Time is a luxury the Senate does not have if we want to prevent default. June 5th is less than four days away. At this point, any needless delay or any last-minute holdups would be an unnecessary and even dangerous risk. And any change to this bill that forces us to send it back to the House would be entirely unacceptable. It would almost guarantee default. So again, the Senate will stay in session until we send a bill avoiding default to the President's desk, and we will keep working until the job is done. The vast majority of senators recognize that passing this bill is supremely important. It's about preserving the full faith and credit of the United States. There is no good reason, none, to bring this process down to the wire. No good reason to bring this process down to the wire. And that, too, is dangerous and risky. So today, I hope we see a genuine desire to keep this process moving quickly. I hope we see nothing even approaching brinksmanship. The country cannot afford that right now. Instead, I hope we see bipartisan cooperation. Bipartisanship is always the best way to avoid default and get this bill over the finish line. We've said it over and over again. Bipartisanship is what prevented default under Pre President Trump. It's what prevented default under President Biden. And it's what will prevent default in this case, too. Partisan bills and hostage-taking, meanwhile, were never going to win the day. Let me say this. Last night's House vote was a resounding affirmation of bipartisanship, which I hope bodes well for quick movement here in the Senate. Large majorities from both sides came together to produce last night's 314, 314 yes votes, two-thirds from Republicans and more than two-thirds no, two-thirds of Republicans voted for it, and more than two-thirds of Democrats voted for it. I thank my House colleagues on both sides of the aisle who fulfilled their duty to prevent a catastrophic default. We need that same spirit of bipartisanship that governed the House vote to continue here in the Senate this morning. I hope that very soon we can finish the job of putting the default in our rearview mirror. This is the best thing we can do right now for our economy and for American families. I'm optimistic the Senate's going to get this done, but it will take one more concerted, focused, and bipartisan for push to get us over the finish line. I yield the floor. Note the absence of a quorum. All right, so we've just been listening to Senate Majority Leader um, Chuck Schumer talking about that uh, bill that's needed to avoid a uh, default. It passed in the House yesterday, and now it's up to the Senate. And, uh, you know, Chuck Schumer urging senators to move forward without amendments, which could hold up the deal because the new X date was today. Well, it was Jan uh, June 1st, but the new X date is June 5th. And at that point, uh, Janet Yellen says that this country will run out of money to pay its bills. And so time is of the essence.